Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Geeky Ginger, and today we're doing something a little different. Uh, I talked about this in some of my Extreme Rags to Riches videos, um, but I actually really enjoy upgrading townies' lives. Um, I really like playing as the townies and like fulfilling their aspirations and generally just making their lives a bit better. Um, and I thought I would actually do a series on these today, and I'm actually going to start with Johnny Zest. So I talked about him again in one of my episodes of The Rags to Riches. Um, because I found out recently about his connection to the land grabs. I, if you don't know, like I didn't, um, he is apparently one of the sons of the land grabs, uh, land grabs, and they disowned him because he wanted to be a musician. Uh, I mean, a comedian. And so I, my heart goes out to Johnny Zest. I, I really appreciate um, that he like went away from his family to accomplish his dreams, and we're gonna help him do that. Today. Um, so we do have to have a sim, and one of the things I really liked of an idea is, is like almost like a, a fairy godmother kind of vibe where the sim, this sim, who we haven't quite made yet, this is just the default, um, is going to be someone who like motivates sims to better themselves. Like, so because she meets Johnny, we're able to go into his life and make it better. I, I know it's a bit silly, but bear with me. I like the idea, and I think she, she seems like somebody who would really want to help people out. So I'll make her cheerful. <laughs> I'll make her creative. I'll make her a goofball. Ooh, just really uh, like positive traits. Briella. All right, we can we can mix with that. Uh, Moyer. Isn't that the name of one of the Sims? I'll, I'll stick with Beckett. And we can make her aspiration probably friends, uh, a neighborhood confidant, and to be a positive influence in the lives of neighbors. I like that. And I actually really like the little outfit she has going on. But I'm also tempted to just put her in like a fairy godmother dress just because I want to. So I might end up doing that. I could ever wear a wedding dress. <laughs> no, no, that's a little bit weird. This kind of says fairy godmother to me. Okay, yep, I'm into it. This is the fairy godmother dress. Oh my gosh, I think that, mm, I don't know. I really like the blue. Okay, I think I'm sticking with the blue, but that looks fabulous. I will be making every single one of her outfits that, or actually I don't really want to, I'll probably just make sure she's always in her every day. Um, and yeah, let's so let's get started. And I'm just gonna move her into one of the starter homes in Willow Creek. All right, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to visit Mr. Johnny Depp. Uh, no, not Johnny Depp, <laughs> Johnny Zest. All right. We are at Johnny Zest's residence. Yeah, I actually really like the little gnomes laying around. Like, I think he has a nice backyard. I mean, considering he doesn't have a very nice house. Yeah, definitely not a very nice house. This kind of screams a mixture of bachelor pad and I don't have money. All right, we're gonna get to know Johnny a little bit. Let's, let's share about ideas. And actually, I think she's gonna lie about her career. Like, maybe she's gonna talk about, like, actually, you know, I've always wanted to be a comedian. And then he's going to be like, oh my gosh, me too. Um, that's amazing. Why don't you tell me more about that? And so I'll ask about his career to, like, to, like kind of continue that. And this is helping her aspiration, which I like too. Yeah. All right, ask about career. Open game. mic seeker at Limelight. So great, he's told her like, yeah, you know, I'm I'm trying to get into the comedian, uh, like career. I'm like trying to do my best. And she's like, great, you know, I have so many funny stories about that. All right, why don't we get to know him a little bit? Maybe like a deep conversation, do an impression because you know they're both funny. You know, honestly, probably something smart for me to do, like, in the future is just to, like, actually make her, uh, oh, because I do have a magic pack, I could just make her a witch, and that would be kind of fun. Oh, so he dislikes painting, and he's ambitious. Alright, so I think she would feel like, she wants to know Johnny a little bit better, but she also just really wants to help him. You know, like, so she's gonna, like, finish up this conversation, and then she's probably gonna go home. Oh, and she found out he's a goofball, too, so they're like, they have so much in common. I love that. Okay, maybe they can chat just a little bit longer. I'd like them to be friends. Oh, I do know if you take a picture with the Sims, they become your friend really quickly. So, let's see, does she- let, let's- oh, no, we can't buy a camera. Uh, I'll have to buy her a camera for another time, because if you take a selfie with a sim, the friendship goes up so high for some reason. Oh, she likes comedy! Yeah, absolutely she does! Share personal life goals. I think that's a good one to end on. 
It's like, so what are your- so these are my personal life goals. What are yours? Oh, and he gave her a little hug. So you're really, like, she's finding out a lot about Johnny here. So, and that's good, because it will make her, like, influence more powerful. Pretty strong relationship. Yeah, yeah, they are friends. Okay, great. Oh, and she adores him. That's really cute. Okay. I'm not gonna ship them. I'm not gonna do it. Okay, I need to get her home. We can say goodbye, and she's gonna go. I imagine this, like, she's, like, casting the spell as she's leaving and, like, maybe, like, blessing his household or, like, I don't want to specify what kind of magic it is. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna limit it myself. But, all of a sudden, we find ourselves helping Johnny Zest. All right, so we are here in the Johnny Zest household. Again, pretty ugly in my opinion, but that's okay. As he earns money, we can spruce the place up a little bit. But... Let's look at his aspiration. So he does want to be a practical joker. So he wants to be funny to five sims and he wants to achieve level three comedy skill. So I think a great way, oh, wait, he wants to be an entertainer? But doesn't he want to be a comedian? Oh, I think a comedian is like halfway down that track. Okay, so what he needs to do is he's gonna need a guitar so he can get better at the guitar. I feel like Johnny would say something about like getting a guitar to be good with the girls too, so I don't think he'd be that bad about it. And we can uh, get him to level two on his guitar so he can start getting better in his career. And he can also like write jokes because that's part of his requirements for his job. And he will be able to up his comedy skills. So let's do that. I'm always grateful for the speed up function in The Sims when they're learning a new instrument because this always sounds horrible, I mean. Only pain. Violin has even a worse sound, in my opinion. Okay, great, he's guitar level two, so I'm gonna have him go to the bathroom. And actually, in my opinion, I imagine since Johnny Zest grew up in the, the land grab household, he has no idea how to cook. So I actually imagine that he orders pizza, like, all of the time. So I'm going to have him order pizza, and my personal favorite is pepperoni, so I'm gonna go with pepperoni. <laughs> and maybe he can be funny to the pizza person when they get here. Oh, he's back on the guitar. I love the enthusiasm, buddy. Oh, okay, pizza's here. You can stop now. Alright, we'll take the pizza, and then we'll talk to him for a little bit. Pizza delivery specialist. That's such a great name. I love that. Can I, can I not talk to him? They're not letting me. Oh, I was kind of looking forward to trying to tell him a joke. Dang, that sucks. Oh, wait, wait. Now I can click on him? Okay, perfect. So we paid him. Now we can run and catch up before he goes. Go! No! No, where'd he go? Ah, oh, he disappeared already. Dang it. Alright, that's Judith. We won't be able to talk to her. She's too snooty. There's this guy passing by, though, and he's really playful. Why don't we go and do a funny introduction? Oh, it went well. Okay, let's do a little knock-knock joke. Goof around a bit. Tell jokes about aliens. That gets him every time. Oh yes, he definitely likes comedy. Our boy likes comedy. Oh great, he's got more sims here. Alright, great. That's his wife, actually, so why don't we goof around with her and be funny with her, too? Alright, and he's running away, so we just gotta keep he her here and keep being silly to her. I have to say, if a person slapped me around, I would not think that was funny. I'm just saying. Is he joking about the worst good gravy? <laughs> Johnny, I I guess it's working for you. Oh wait wait wait, that's uh we can talk to her. She's the uh one. She has a son from City Living. Let's talk to her. Oh and you two you two don't think you can go anywhere. We're 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 drawing a crowd here. Oh yeah, that's right. We got a we got a captive audience. That's what we're looking for. Tell a funny story. Uh, impersonate a celebrity. That'll go over. Always get them. Okay, so we talked to three sims. That's a good start. Oh, here's another one. All right, Miss Gemma. Wow, I don't think I've seen this sim before. She's very beautiful. I can't remember seeing this townie before. I'd like to chat with her if she would stay. Yay, she's coming back. Okay, great. She got a little walk going on, a little strut. I respect it. All right, we just need this guy to be funny to this guy, and then we'll finally almost have our aspiration. No, we just need to be funny to one more Sim. Get over there. Oh. Ah. Woo! Milestone complete. Fabulous. 
Alright, what's the next step? Oh, can we do the next part too? Wow, that's crazy. Okay. Okay, we can do this all. Yeah, yeah, we got this. Alright, we're off to a great start. And he met so many people today. He's got like a, a good group of friends now. Maybe we'll have like a little, little dinner party sometime. Alright, we need to put away his pizza. Well, actually, he's kind of hungry. We should eat the pizza we just put away and then go to bed. Always uncomfortable because his bed is cheap. Well, you gotta keep... We gotta, we gotta work a little harder on your career if you want us to help that, bud. Tense. From disliking the decor, he hates basic decor. Dude, your whole house is basic decor. What am I supposed to do about that? Wow, that's such like a, a former rich kid thing to say. It's just like, ugh, all this basic decor. I can't stand it. Like, wow. So privileged. Alright, he's got work in nine hours. So we'll just be getting his skills up until then. You know, he can't afford a laptop, and that would be good because then he can write jokes. So why don't I just buy him a laptop? I mean, it definitely cuts into his savings, but we're working in a little bit. It should be fine. Alright, so we practiced his comedy for a while, and now he's gonna write. What kind of music is he listening to? So I think this is island listening Okay, so he finished a uh, llama's. Oh, he's dancing! Oh, look at him go! He's having a grand old time! You go, Johnny! You go, my dude! Oh, he's breaking it down! You're rocking it, my mans. Yeah, you're just laughing to yourself. He's so glad to be out of that household. Look at him. He's like, look at me. I am accomplishing my dreams. I'm practice, practicing comedy. I just finished a whole routine. I'm going to work in a few hours. The world is at my fingertips. Good for you, Johnny. Well, Asha wants to come over to hang out. That's nice, but he's really got to be working. Sorry. Alright, he's got work in a couple hours. Go eat some pizza. Why don't you clean up your nasty plates that you keep laying around, too? No one's your maid around here, Johnny. You gotta take care of yourself. Oh, she came over to visit anyway. Okay, why don't you why don't you guys like talk for just a little bit? Oh wait, no, he can't even talk to her because he's going to work. Feels bad. That's okay. He's gonna work hard. She'll leave soon. Can I can I ask her to leave? Okay, great. We'll be back with some cash money. Oh, Rayla's calling us about what? Thinking about getting a new job. What do you think? Uh, sure. Oh wow, so he came back, he's pretty tired. Oh, but he got promoted! Sea Lister! Okay! Sea Lister is better than no list at all. Why, Johnny is even starting to book a few gigs. At this point, his ability to shamelessly promote himself may be a greater asset than any true talent. So true. All right, great job, Johnny. You go and get some well-deserved sleep. You are climbing up in the world. He's so happy that he's promoted because he's ambitious. I love that. Dude, clean up your plates. I'm gonna have him perform his llamas, which is poor quality when he gets up. What are Johnny's other traits? Oh, so he's outgoing, he's a goofball, and he's ambitious. Okay, that makes sense. It's really funny that all the sims I play on this channel uh, eat, like, one food, like, with Clara and strawberries, and with Johnny it's pizza. Like, when I just regularly play with my sims, I actually love to have them cook different things, so this is kind of funny. <laughs> Oh, he's listening to something different this time. Oh, wait, but uh, she's calling again. Oh, she wants to ask someone out. Okay, I don't even know who Tomex is, but yeah, you should go for it. Okay, I'm tempted to go to Geek Kong, but again, we just, we got too much going on. We can't do it. Also, why do you keep leaving gross plates around? Please just look after yourself. Oh, he doesn't have work for three days. Oh boy, well, I guess we have plenty of time to work on our aspirations then. It would be nice if we could get his comedy to level 10 in this video. I think that would go over pretty well. Because, you know, that's the number one thing he needs. He'll probably have to get his guitar up a few more levels for the comedian, but- Oh, Cookie Overdoses. Uh, that sounds like a great time, honestly. I'm a big component of the who needs drugs when you have chocolate kind of people. Oh, he's dancing again! Wow, I love that Johnny is always dancing. What a lad. He thinks he's so smooth. Keep practicing, Johnny, in the in the comfort of your own home. Oh, I think he finally fi uh, ran out of pizza. Um, what's Zoomer's food delivery? I actually don't know. 
Oh, you can just order food. Okay, yeah, then he should have some real food. Uh, you know, I feel like he would order poke because he, it, it's just, it's kind of trendy and he'd like it. Oh, he's going to dance again. All right, go ahead, you can dance. Never man met a man that loved to dance this much. Oh, delivery man's feeling flirty. He's kind of hot too. Dang, maybe we should say hi to him. Oh, and he's coming into our house? Uh, how about we give a friendly introduction and give a tip? Okay, the bracelets are kind of a no, but everything else, delicious. Ah, Kangaroo! Oh, he's gloomy? Oh, uh, I don't really see that for Johnny. Like, don't get me wrong, he's a pretty hot man, but I think he really needs somebody who has a zest for life like he does. You know, because... Because his name is, is Johnny Depp, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and they even dislike each other. Yeah, it's just a hell no. Oh wait, I did have leftover pizza. Oh well, I guess I'll just keep that in the fridge for dinner. Oh, put it in his inventory. No, 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 no. Just, just put it in the fridge. Thank you. Okay, great. He can eat that, take a shower, and we'll keep getting his comedy up. All of his routines are poor quality. Johnny, get your stuff together! And he's dancing again. I, I, I feel like I should like almost make like a dancing count for the number of times that Johnny just broke out dancing. Oh, Brielle's here! Oh wait, no, that's not Brielle, is it? Oh no, it is Brielle, I just didn't recognize because I, uh, you know, didn't look at any of her other outfits. But it looks pretty nice, I think. I mean, even the jewelry kind of looks nice. Yeah, sure, you can like mischief. I feel like Johnny is like a creative boy and a mischievous boy. Like, he loves music, he loves dancing, he loves jokes, but I also feel like he'd do an impractical joke every once in a while. It's probably part of what uh, the Landgrab family didn't like about him. Although, like, I do think the Landgrab family is kind of evil, but, like, he likes, like, the more innocent forms of it, you know? He, he wouldn't have done well in the family business. All four of them are poor. Okay, well, you know, maybe it's because he's a bad writer and not because he's a bad actor. Oh, I'll, I'll just give him the benefit of the doubt there. Oh, finally, he can he can refine them. Oh, she's cheering him on as he does his, his jokes. That's so cute. She's like, yeah, you're doing awesome. Way to go. Oh, wow, he finally washed his dish. Oh, Brielle is calling. Oh, her day went really well. Congrats. Oh, and they just became good friends. I love that. Oh, and he's feeling flirty because he set them up. Oh. I think we'll, we'll probably eventually get Johnny a, a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Like, he's just gotta find the right person, you know? Oh, Brielle is back again. Alright, we can goof around a little bit, but today he's feeling focused, you know? Like, he really does wanna, wanna get things done. So I'll have him talk to her for a little bit, and then maybe he can perform a routine for her. Like, he fixed llamas, and now it's normal! Congrats, Johnny! You have a routine that doesn't suck! Oh, and she's dancing too! Oh my gosh, they're both dancing! Oh crap, I accidentally ended their, their little dance party! I was so excited about that! Oh, well, I'm sorry I ruined it. And now we support- she's supporting him again, like the loving, supportive friend that she is. Oh wait, he's going up in fame? Wait, what? Oh, it's just on the road to fame. Okay, I was gonna say, if he got a new, uh, became a notable newcomer just for Brielle, that would be really funny. There's a world famous circus! Oh, well, that didn't go that well for Clara, but maybe Johnny will have a better time. That circus was beautiful! I never know people could be that flexible. The contortionists and acrobats were the best part. Oh, I'm so glad you had a good time, Johnny! Okay, I know we have leftovers. Wait, what? Where, where'd the poke go? Did we did we ever eat the poke? It's just like, dang, I'm hungry and there's no food in the fridge. What am I gonna do? Well, I guess we'll have to order food. Maybe we'll order another pizza. And this time it's Canadian bacon. Oh, Brielle's back. Brielle, it's nice to see you, but I... I we've already hung out today. I kind of want some alone. Alright, pizza's here. It's that same guy as before that we didn't get to actually talk to because he ran away. Ah. It's okay, I feel like he wants to be alone, so we'll have him just eat some pizza and then go to bed. Oh, it's a TV se uh, season premiere today. Why not? I feel like he would definitely stay on top of that. Oh, what's up, Brielle? 
Some casual friend time? Go for it! Building friendships is a must! And then I feel like he'd grab his pizza pizza and watch the game of Llamas premiere. I mean, his first comedy routine, comedy routine was about llamas. I feel like this show is near and dear to his heart. Brielle's back again. Okay, girl, you're like borderline stalking him. Why don't you give him a little space? He's still tense because he hates the decor. I mean, we can make a little difference to his house. We do have a few thousand. No, why don't we? Let's make his house a little less, uh, like his house. Make it nicer. First thing we're gonna do is get some actual light in here. And one of the nice tricks is if you hit control and then hit one of the, uh, the brackets, the left bracket, you can actually make it smaller until you, like, can't even see it if you want this. So you, like, just control and then boom, the light, like, doesn't exist anymore. It's great. And then, all right, I'm guessing he, like, it, I don't even know what basic decor is, but I'm guessing it's, like, the more dry- Oh, he already had a guitar! I didn't even notice that, that's really funny. All right, I'll sell the other one then, and we'll put this in a more vocal spot. All right, I feel like the stereo doesn't really need the box. I hate the green fridge. Like, I, I hate the green appliances, I want them to leave. All right, let's see, let's let's fix the wallpaper, because it's, it's quite ugly. Or at least the color, it's just really drab, you know? There we go. Let's let's do that same thing, just like a little less dark. It's kind of depressing. Like, yeah, even just the like lighter wood makes it look a lot better. That should be fine. Maybe like switch up. I kind of like the stools. Oh, those are really nice stools. Those are $600. Did he like just steal these from the land grab house? Because <laughs> uh, that's like the most expensive thing. In, in, I think that's worth more than his bed. That stool is worth almost three times his bed. Okay, I guess we're keeping the st we're keeping the stools. There's some sort of story there that I don't know about. <laughs> I feel like Johnny doesn't really have a sense of style considering, like, you know, his apartment. So I'll do like sort of mismatched furniture still, even though like this this does match. I will use this, but like it's not like the prettiest. A Kinder made clock. It's kind of cute. Kind of looks like a piece of bread. All right, and we need to get this man a new bed and, and some, a nicer dresser and like an actual crate, like like something that's not a crate, but a stuff on and, and that rug is kind of ugly too, in my opinion. So let's go, it can still be like a single bed, just like nicer. Oh, he seems to like dark colors. So let's give him this is like nice gray bed. Here, we can even get him a little nightstand made of suitcases. Because that seems like his sort of style that he had going on with the crates. I feel like he would have a cute little panda lamp because he's just a little goofy like that. Apparently he's into space. I, I didn't know that, but let's see what kind of- do they have anything for comedy and decor? I feel like we should put a pride flag in there in honor of Pride Month, and I think that Johnny is probably bi, so it fits. I am drawing like the greatest blank on what else to put on his walls. I just don't know. I mean, and I can always add more later. I just like- I'm not putting anything to do with comedy. Or like, I wanted to put something about music, but most of the finds, things I'm finding are like sticking out of the wall, and that's not really what I'm looking for. Okay, maybe he would have this little cupcake thing, because it's like a little goofy, a little silly. I feel like he would like that. And then maybe like a little rug. Okay, I feel like that kind of ties the room together. Okay, I like it, I like it. I feel like it has more character, and his house definitely looks nicer. Right? So we're gonna go with that. Okay, and on this note, I think we should probably end the episode today. We didn't get to full comedy, but we did get to almost level six, which is 60% is of the way there. So I'll give us the grace there. Um, and I'm really excited to see what we do with Johnny in our next episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I had fun making this video, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.